All right, we're making sourdough pretzels. So far we have 255 grams of water and it calls for about 125 grams of sourdough starter. So here's 125. You see how it's floating? That means it's actually fresh. <laughs> We're almost there, 118. All right, 130, that's fine, I guess. And then the original recipe called for honey. While I have honey, it's just as easy to use. Some sugar, so this is about, I think 10 grams. Yeah, about 10 grams of sugar, but it doesn't have to be perfect. And then we're also gonna add in some salt here in a minute. So we're gonna use 500 grams of flour. I can do my best not pouring this everywhere. And then two tablespoons, that sounded fun, two tablespoons of salt. This is like the first time I've ever actually measured it. Usually I just guesstimate, so that's fun. Right. And sometimes it'll start coming together. It'll look kind of dry. Or, I mean, kind of wet, and I always like my pretzels to look more on the dry side because when you have to roll them out tomorrow, it, it's going to be a lot easier. All right, so I can just get it kind of mixed together like this, and then I just put it in the KitchenAid over here. So I'll come back in a minute and show you what it looks like when it's pretty mixed together. All right, so it's been in the mixer for a couple minutes, and then I kneaded it a little bit, so it's a nice... Um, smoother dough and it's not sticky if it's a little sticky add some flour this is you don't want a sticky dough for pretzels that will make your life horrible so we're just going to let this rise on the countertop in the bowl covered for a couple hours it really doesn't have a specific amount of time some people leave them out all night I didn't like how much that made them overproof so I'm just gonna take it like this put it in this bowl put a cover on it want to find one okay plastic wrap it is so we're just gonna kind of let it on the countertop for like an hour or two and then when it gets close to bed I'm just gonna put this in another container and put it in the refrigerator and then tomorrow we're going to shape this and do some pretzels um, that's about it pretzels aren't really too hard all right so this is the loaf this morning it's still cold we're gonna take it and bust it into about 85, no more than 90 grams per pretzel. You could just wing it. I actually measure mine out. So that's 93, take a touch off, 89 on the button. So I'm just gonna keep doing this and then here in a minute, I'll show you how to um, turn them into a pretzel. All right, so it made about a 10, I think it made 11, but that's, that's about how many I get out of it. If you get a little more or a little less, that's fine. So I took some flour and sprinkled it on there because you do not want like a wet, a wet dough for making these. So what I do is I just kind of take it and roll it out. If it's starting to snap, that means your dough's too dry. Just work with it, it'll be fine. It's your first time, that, as long as they look like a pretzel, you're doing great. So you just kind of keep going. This is about a two foot table. So that's about what I go with with mine. So once I get them kind of uh, it's over, it's pretty closer to 30 inches. It's gonna keep springing back, which is fine. You want the bigger piece in the middle, kind of pull these out to the side. And I know you can do them really fast, but I'm gonna do this slow. You cross it, twist it around, and then just bring them down. And I kind of push them down. So I'll do another one. So I'm gonna set this one up here, because I need to proof for about um, 20 minutes as well. I'm getting the water ready, because you do have to boil pretzels. Some people boil them in lye. I boil mine in um, baking soda, not powder, baking soda. Because I don't have lye at my house and that seems caustic and like something I don't want to get into. So, same thing. You want the middle part to be a bigger part. If it's springing back, it's just because I should have let it rest a little bit longer, but it's fine. Kind of go like that. Fold it up to the top, make an X like that. And then twist it around again. So it looks like that and then just bring it down. And I always pat it down, and there's two. So I'm gonna do that with the rest of them. 
And then once I get this done, I'll show you how to get the boiling water ready to put these guys into. <laughs> All right, so we have boiling water. This is about a liter, which is about four cups of water with 60 grams, which is probably close to like a half cup-ish of baking soda. And you can see it's already bubbling and it's boiling. So we're gonna take our um, pretzels. Which you can see, by the way, I put two twirls in some instead of just one, like, well, like I showed you. So you can put two in there, it's okay. So you're just gonna take them. I always put them in upside down like this. So like one, I usually do four at a time, but you gotta remember I'm normally doing a ton of these all at once. So like 30 seconds-ish on each side. I let them go for a little bit. They're fine, you can't really mess them up. I just wanna make sure they're not gonna to stick to the bottom. By the way, the oven is preheating for, there, nobody likes my song, uh, 425. Um, so it's preheated. I always preheat the oven while I'm getting the water ready. So let it go for a little bit. And then I always just use this slotted wooden spoon thingy from I don't know where. And I'm just gonna flip them. This one's tricky because you wanna make sure that you're not ripping the, the pretzel apart, but usually they, they don't cause a problem. Just kind of flip it right over. There they are. I've done this a few times, you can probably tell. Sometimes they'll fall apart a little bit, it doesn't matter, they taste the same. Like I said, it might be longer than 30 seconds. So what's gonna happen next is once these are finished up, I'm gonna let them dry for a second, put them back over on the baking sheet, and then we're going to put some salt on them. I just use the sea salt. I think probably on Amazon you could get an actual pretzel salt, but this is what they have locally for me, so that's what I use. So you can see how they put, kind of puffed up a little bit. So they look good to me. So kind of shake them off a little bit. I'm just gonna set them over there and you kind of see the difference between how they look before and after cooking. This. I get the last one. And then I just put the next three in. Usually I put four, but you know, when you only have 10, it's not a big deal. Let those go, and then while those are cooking, you still want to be a little bit damp on top so that the salt will stick. If you want to make a different kind, then you would just leave the salt off. I made the cinnamon sugar before, so you would just bake them as is. So I'm going to do this with the rest of them, and then I'm going to bake them for 12 to 14 minutes at 425 degrees, and then we're going to have some for a late breakfast. All right, so they've been baking for 13 minutes at 425, and they look pretty good. Here's one tray. It's got a nice brown color to them. And here's the other tray. And that is about it. They are done.